is, is a sitting congresswoman saying that the reason she wants to keep guns is to attack all the people listed? Yep, pretty much. It seems Marjorie Taylor Greene does not want red flag laws so that she and others can threaten and or shoot and kill, it looks like, any group that she disagrees with. People who are like pro-choice, for example, or trans people, or people coming here without documentation seeking a better life. Let me read you the tweet that she sent. It will be a tool to disarm any gun owner that wants to stop abortion, the trans agenda on kids, mass illegal migration, and big government oppression suffocating our families, faith, and freedoms. Uh, to disarm any gun owner that wants to stop those things? With their words or with their guns? Because they're still allowed to protest things they disagree with, even though those things are things that are, you know, uh, human rights and people just wanting to be treated equally and coming here to seek a better life. But if you wanted to protest those things, you can. You just can't do it while threatening them with your guns. But this was just the first of a 10-tweet thread. Let me read you some more highlights. Get ready for another crazy statement. Quote, Republican senators failed their voters and helped Democrats create a very dangerous bill, making it now possible to red flag Americans when their political enemies feel a gun owner is a, quote, threat to themselves or others, close quote, close quote. Uh, nope, you made the political enemies part up. It's when somebody feels their life is in danger or the life of the person with the gun's life is in danger and they have to go to a court and make the case and convince a judge that that is accurate. You say you want law and order, that is literally law and order, and it's just to save lives and the guns would be taken away just temporarily while that threat is imminent. Not because somebody has different politics than you, you lying sack of... Let me read another tweet. The unhinged genius continues, If you think they won't use red flag laws to disarm conservative Americans, you are a fool. You meant to say if you think they will use red flag laws. To disarm conservatives, you are a fool, because that's what you are and you make no sense. She continues, they will go after a selected few and red flag them. They will tell you they are right-wing domestic terrorists. Uh, if they go over after a selected few people that can be credibly called terrorists, it's because they are doing stuff with their guns or threatening to do stuff with their guns that make them domestic terrorists or potential ones and they should have their guns taken away because we're against random murder unlike you and many on the right. She continues, the threat against trans people, abortion clinics, or maybe election authorities, now she's speculating even further, or maybe election authorities or school boards allowing drag queen school shows and the, fast, and the fact that these right-wing domestic terrorists are gun owners with a large amount of dangerous weapons of war will be all they need to make the accusations and red flag them. Um, okay, let's start with everything in that being insane. So, you're threatening trans people? You're threatening abortion clinics? You're, uh, threatening school boards that allow drag queen school shows? Which, by the way, the Drag Queen Story Hour does not do it at schools, and school boards don't allow it. It's done at public libraries and public places, and parents opt in and go there with their kids and bring their kids, so stop your complete bull talking points. But that said, uh, if you are threatening those people and you have guns, that is means you are a threat to others physically and you should have your gun taken away. You shouldn't be able to use your gun to intimidate groups you don't like, you complete idiot. This idiotic threat to public safety, this government troll within the government continues. Then they will be persecuted in the public square by the media where undoubtedly they will be exposed as Trump supporters. Well, that's the first thing you've said that is accurate. If crazy people are threatening others just because they don't agree with who they are, and threatening them with guns, yes, so they will probably be Trump supporters. That's accurate. And she continues somehow with an amount of hubris that is beyond belief. Don't you get it? Violence and riots are justified for the left, but they are insurrection for the right. Uh, no. Insurrection is insurrection. When the right does it, or the left does it, or anyone does it, it's insurrection when you try to overthrow the government or try to stop the peaceful transfer of power in our country. Uh, violence and riots that comes from the left are punished as violence and riots when somebody's committing crimes. We commit crimes on both sides. You just like to cry about it on one side and lie to your followers that it happens on one side and night the other and not the other. And then you you continued that tweet later on by saying, and there is a two-tiered justice system that only prosecutes the right in your deluded bull****.
mind that is intentionally lying to your followers and lying to those you represent so that you can maintain power by keeping people scared of something that is just plain not happening and not true at all. I don't know if I can make this point as well as some of the people that responded to it, both pro her tweets and against. First, I really loved this one that was just a great meme uh, that read, only God can judge me, says Marjorie, and God replies, I already did your While the national media is losing their mind over white supremacy, trying to blame Republicans for, for white replacement theory, uh, trying to link us to this mentally ill, deranged teenager that killed people in Buffalo, um, you know, they ignore things like shootings here in Washington, D.C. under Mayor Muriel Bowser's uh, purview. They, they completely ignore people like Kathleen Landerkin that is so racist herself. Um, and that she hates the people that she has in her jail. Wow. And that was U.S. House Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia. And this is the latest episode of Marjorie Taylor Greene is dumber than we thought. And she thinks Americans are just as stupid as she is. What Marjorie Taylor Greene was arguing in that particular clip is that because there is an African-American mayor in Washington, D.C., where there are murders, and because the head of the D.C. jail allegedly said something about not liking white people, that is all just as bad, just as terrible as that 18-year-old white man who went to Buffalo with the N-word scribbled on his gun, had trafficked in racism and white nationalism, shot up an African-American grocery store, and killed 10 people. Yes, according to Marjorie Taylor Greene, forget about, never mind, the racist-fueled violence and carnage in Buffalo. The, the mainstream yeah. media should take a look at race a little more clearly and see that really they're, the leftists in the media are the real racists. Leftists in the media are the real racists? Oh yeah, when was the last time a leftist in the media shot or killed anybody? When was the last time a leftist media manifesto, whatever that would be, could be directly connected to a mass shooting based on hatred? When was the last time a leftist argued that immigrants are replacing white American citizens and that this was something to be really riled up about, to be infuriated about. That stuff comes from the right. And the fact of the matter is Marjorie Taylor Greene has a long history of pushing and embracing Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, and yes, even racism. It was Marjorie Taylor Greene who once suggested that 9-11 was an inside job. She claimed that Barack Obama was a Muslim. She said that the Clintons had JFK Jr. killed because somehow they thought he was a threat to their future and therefore they had his plane crashed. It was Marjorie Taylor Greene who has endorsed executing Democratic leaders, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Marjorie Taylor Greene said the California wildfires, and she wrote this on Facebook, had been started by a Jewish space laser, controlled, of course, by a Jewish family. And it was Marjorie Taylor Greene who had really has no legislative accomplishments whatsoever, although she would argue that one of her accomplishments includes writing articles of impeachment against Joe Biden. This is the kind of fringe lunatic that Marjorie Taylor Greene really is. Now, there is an interesting argument about whether the fringe lunatics and their hatred on the right are directly responsible for the violence that occurs afterwards. And I would argue that the primary responsibility of the violence and the carnage in Buffalo belongs to the Buffalo shooter, that psychopath. But it is a fact that psychopaths across the United States, and there are a lot of crazy people in the United States, are influenced they are impacted by the words that come out of right-wing politicians, right-wing media, and the crazy ideas, specifically the hatred that comes from so many of those on the right. Uh, and it is clear that the right has a lot of racism and a lot of hate. And I suppose the only card that people like Marjorie Taylor Greene can play is somehow to deflect and say, oh no, there's also racism or just as much racism on the left. That's a bunch of nonsense.